but there are still a few veterans around who were at Pearl Harbor the day Japanese planes attacked. New at 5, Eric Schultz caught up with some and got one Prairie Village man's first-hand account on the 71st anniversary. When the Japs first attacked, I was on my back in a bed. Dorwin Lampkin was in the sick bay aboard the USS Nevada. Jack Carson was at an airfield. And Edmund Russell was in a mess hall preparing food. Then there's Jesse Dunnigan. About five minutes to eight, the PA system come on and said, air raid, air raid, Pearl Harbor. This is no drill. Dunnigan was aboard the USS California. All four of these men were there when Japanese planes rained destruction on Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941. Dunnigan scrambled to his battle station. 44,000 tons took like a guitar string. That's what it felt like when his 44,000 ton ship got hit with a torpedo. Dunnigan and the other men had to abandon ship and swim across a harbor that was mostly on fire from burning oil. We had to swim underwater, come up to the water and fire side, grab a breath, and swim again. He made it, but a hundred of his crewmates died that day. After Pearl Harbor, Dunnigan went on to serve in nine more battles in the Pacific. That's when my feet, feet said boom. These men shared their stories with these Shawnee Mission middle schoolers passing down a first-hand account of an infamous day. A day that transformed America and the world. Eric Schultz, 41 Action News.